we're about to go live and we are live all right what's good y'all welcome back to another ceremony except this time it's the closing ceremony um if you're as hyped as i am as i was in the beginning at the opening ceremony type a yeet in a chat because i'm wearing a yeet uh jacket so i want to see all those yeets in the chat we're basically done we made it 24 hour grind oh my god it's been amazing i've had a lot of fun throughout this hackathon meeting different hackers seeing what y'all been up to and whatnot so without further ado let's try to get into this opening ceremony and see what's up all right we're gonna get started so with the agenda for the closing ceremony, we're going to go through a quick thank yous closing, how the event go, and review that. Then um, we have a feedback form for you guys and a chance to win um, a $25 Amazon gift card if you fill out the form. So we'll explain the details for that. And then we're going to go through a review of what the prizes are and then for the winner announcement. And we'll end with some final remarks. With that said, so first of all, thank you so much for coming um, for everyone. We have not done Hakia in three years, and so we're super, super excited for this year. And I know it was virtual. It wasn't the most ideal situation, having to sit in front of the computer, not being able to meet everyone um, in person. But even with all of that, um, we had record turnouts. We had um, some great feedback from all of our judges. We had a total of 131 hackers during the entire duration of the hackathon and 18 total project submissions. Um, and all of them were unique, all of them, we saw how much work everyone put into it. Um, so whether you win, whether anything happens, huge congratulations. And um, just for the learning experience of it more than anything. Um, we got a lot of different feedback from judges, but everyone was pretty much so impressed by the um, quality of the projects, the different ideas that you guys had for each challenge, um, especially with the entire hackathon's theme being AI and social impact. and how it affects us in our daily lives. Um, we saw a lot of really cool project ideas um, and everyone had a great time. So thank you again for all of that. And I also wanna mention, um, not just to our participants, but um, a huge shout out to the organizers, um, for our team, for working hard. Um, every single team put in the best effort um, they could. And when it comes to our faculty, um, huge thanks to Dr. Professor Gordon Arnold. Um, he is our club sponsor. He helped us out as well as Dr. Gopal Gupta um, for just helping us organize their sponsors. Um, OpenAI, SignaPay, Deep Cognition, um, and the UTDCS department, and the Center for Applied AI, again, for sponsoring us, making this event happen. Um, and honestly, to everyone who helped along the way. So with that said, um, the feedback form. This is really important to us because when we do Hack AI again next year and the years after that, we want to take into account everything that you guys thought about, the good parts of it, the bad parts of it. Um, and so we would really, really appreciate if you guys filled out this feedback form. Um, the link is on the slides. You can slide, slide, wow, words. You can scan the QR code as well. Um, but we'll send that link out in the chat um, as well as the Hack AI Discord in a little bit, um, just in case you have any issues. Um, and in a little bit, probably by Monday or Tuesday, we'll be able to announce the um, winner for the giveaway for the feedback form, which is again a $25 Amazon gift card. Um, so be sure to fill it out and don't hold back on any of the comments or suggestions. We want to make this as better as we can um, for you guys next year. So that is with the feedback form. Um, and when it comes to prizes, so again, the best overall team is going to be winning Apple AirPods Pro. The best of track three is going to get some power beats, um, wireless headphones. Best of track two gets the Polaroid instant camera, and we have an Amazon Echo Dot for best of track one. And the sponsor prizes are again, OpenAI is giving out special AI API credits and deep cognition um, is giving out a one-year subscription to DLS Pro, and the Signify Deep Risk Sponsor Challenge is going to be winning a Rocketbook Smart Notebook. So those are the cool prizes. But now, for the moment that you guys are waiting for, I'm going to hand it back to Sanji to go through a winning team. All right, sounds good. So I just want to say, like, 
I got really impressed looking at all the project submissions. And I think, you know, if anything, like my three said, it's been incredible just seeing like where you guys started and how much you guys put into it. Like it's just, it's mind blowing just seeing what kind of winners we got. So, um, so let's go to the first one already. Uh, so we're going to start off with the sponsor challenges. So we're going to go with open AI, which was designed a system that uses open AI's API and AI techniques to help hospital administration. So the best overall winner for open AI is table six, which is hospital AI. And I'm sorry if I butchered it up. I'm not really too sure how to say it. Um, and so just a short description for everyone who doesn't know what this project is. It's a web application that allows patients to connect with their doctors and fill out information before their appointments. Um, this application contains any pertinent information, sends it, um, from the patient's responses and send them to the doctor. Um, and so this basically utilizes the OpenAS API um, in order to process and summarize the details of the patient's response and send to the doctor. So congrats, Hospa AI, if I'm saying it right. Um, this was a really cool project. So kudos on to you guys on that. All right, let's go on to the next one. So unfortunately, um, for Deep Cognition Challenge, which was utilized a deep learning studio to devise an application to promote environmental sustainability, we didn't have any valid submissions for this challenge. So unfortunately, no winner was selected. But if you guys did use Deep Learning Studio, um, you know, kudos to you because I definitely had a hard time setting it up. Um, but it was definitely a really interesting tool. And, you know, having a graphical user interface um, for building models, I think that's a really cool feature that I haven't seen anyone else done. So, you know, if you definitely want to use their tool in the future, definitely go for it. I think um, it's definitely free off their website. Let's go on to the next challenge and our final sponsor challenge, SignaPay slash DeepRisk.ai. Um, thank you again to Chaitanya for uh, helping out. I saw you really active on the Discord um, for everyone. Um, so his challenge was create an application slash model that helps impacts um, or helps businesses. Um, and so the winner for this one was Table 15, the e-doctor. Um, this was a web application. Um, I believe this was a repeated uh, one. Um, am I reading this right? Wise, maybe, no, no, the winner is the same. I think description, they both had similar and maybe it was a change, but the winner is the e-doctor. The winner is the e-doctor. So congrats. Sorry, messed up your description. That's our fault. Um, but I think I did see you guys apps and it was really impressive. So congratulations to you guys for winning the SignaPay challenge. That is a really amazing app. Um, now let's go on to the general challenges, and these are going to be for our uh, track as well. Oh, we got something from Chaitanya. He said, uh, you also win mentorship from him, so that's incredible. So you got an extra thing on top of that too. All right, let's go to our general tracks. Um, so for track number one, so it just kind of give everyone a brief overview of what this was. It was more or less a novice, but it also reflected the technical complexity of the project. So if you had a very low or no code solution, you're basically competing against other projects that also have low and no code solutions. So the winner for this track one is table three, medical bot, which was a Discord bot that provides answers and definitions to patients' medical queries. Um, so basically it uh, takes a pre-made prompt on OpenAI's API and text from the user. So basically a Q&A system and it sends it back to OpenAI's API and then sends it back to the Discord server. Um, and I think one thing I really liked about this was if you try to ask, you know, the Discord bot about anything else unrelated to medical queries, it would say like, oh, you know, sorry, I only take medical queries. So I thought that was a really cool feature. So good job to medical bot team um, for creating this awesome app and slash application. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, we have best of track two. And so just a refresher track two was the um, prediction or track, which is basically if you haven't, if you dived, you know, kind of here and there in the AI slash ML field, um, but you weren't too familiar with the advanced technologies, you know, you kind of use data sets, you had a good understanding of the theory. Um, this is what was for you. Um, so the winner for track two is table number 14, which is human detector. And they used, I believe, a HAR image classifier that's able to recognize humans from a simple video stream. Um, you know, maybe you can use it on us and that would be kind of cool detecting us. Um, it could be implemented in cars to apply driver warning systems or automatic braking in order to prevent pedestrian motor vehicle accidents. So I think that's a really useful application. So good job for coming up with this idea and following it through, guys. Um, way to go.
All right, let's go to our track three winners. Um, so refresher again, track three is our architect track. And this is like your full stack track. It's a maxed out application. You got like basically everything in the, you know, process. I mean, this is basically, you know, you're, you know what, you can fill in the words. Um, so the winner of table, uh, the winner for best of track three is table one, the robot pathfinding software. Their demo is super cool. So if you haven't go check it out, definitely. So this software was a user friendly platform that gives robot nurse the optimal path to the patient. So this would be something, you know, it, the robot nurse ought to be a hardware uh, piece. And then you put the software, which is this program in it. And the administration basically draw like, you know, a layout from the hospital and the path that the robots would take to the patient's room or whatever. And if no path is found, I thought it was really cool. It notifies the administrator through an email API and, you know, maybe the administrator can do further information or update the path for the robot. So this would be really cool, you know, instead of like having a bunch of people just like uh, trying to like figure out where to go, have a bunch of robots do it. So congrats to you guys again. This was a really cool demo and awesome presentation on that. All right. So that was that. We had our three tracks, but we also have our best overall throughout the entire hackathon can i get a drum roll please and their best overall was table number nine co aid so you know good pun i like it um so <laughs> this uh you know application it gives a prediction code results based on data collection checked against a user's given data and this used cnn um to determine whether a patient has COVID or not. Um, and so this was a really unique application, um, you know, it, and it got the whole full stack process um, throughout. And, you know, our judges definitely loved this project. And I think we loved it too. So kudos to COVID-AI-D or COVID-AID. Um, maybe I messed up the pun, but congrats to you guys. This was a really amazing project. Um, so let's go on to the next slide. Um, so yeah, that was basically all of our winners and you know, everyone did amazing projects. So even if your name wasn't up there, I just want to say like, I'm really impressed with the quality of the submissions and that you guys, you know, stuck through all 24 hours to submit a project irregardless of the results. Right. Um, I think that's really cool. Um, so you guys really did a really great job on that. Um, so, you know, and by the way, this hackathon, you know, this is just one step in the process, right? If you really want to go into this field, there's always going to be more information. You can always build your two, uh, your tools, you know, in the AI field. Um, so definitely keep following the artificial intelligence society. Um, cause we're dedicated all year round to making events that you guys can learn and, you know, step your foot in or just break through the field altogether. Um, so, uh, First is AISUT.org. Check out our website. Our website um, is actually going through an update, so it's going to look a lot cleaner, a lot cooler uh, sooner. Um, we have also have our Instagram. Instagram is one of our main sources for marketing. Um, so if you want to check out what kind of events we're having uh, at all times, definitely follow us on Instagram. Facebook's another one, and LinkedIn's also another one. So these are their links, um, pretty standard links. Um, so definitely follow us, check us out. Um, we would love to see you at future events. And, you know, I definitely don't want you guys to stop learning here. This is, you know, incredible first step for everyone who participated. So I'm really happy. I and mean, you can tell the smile on my face. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, guys. And I'm going to pass it off to my three, I believe. Yes. Um, but with that said, that is all we have for the closing ceremony. Again, congratulations to all the winners. And thank you to all the participants. Um, if you're just joining and honestly from an organized pr organizer's perspective like we worked really hard on this but it's for you guys and so we really really hope um, that you had a good time um, and that you learned a lot and that you got something out of it at the end of the day that's all we want um, for everyone to take back a positive experience so um, with that said I don't think I have anything else other than follow us um, hope we see you at our next events um, get on our AS discord if you're not already on there and um, that is all we have, I think. And oh, for the winner's final note, um, do email us um, or we'll reach out to you um, for further information on what to do. And don't forget to fill out the feedback form as well. But yep, that is fill out the feedback have. form. I think that's it. All right. And can I hear one last yeet yeet in the chat? Let's go. <laughs> We're done with this. Maybe you're going back to college work. Who knows? But you know, congrats to you guys. Have an amazing weekend and the rest of your school year. Hope to see you around. Yeet, yeet. <laughs> right. 
All right, everyone, have a great rest of your day. Thank you. I think we're done. That's great. And I'm trying to find the exit button. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs>